Here it is again. Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I have another question. This one comes by way of email from Big MacBook of the chat room, and he is asking, in your opinion, what are the top three apps for Mac to host a radio station? Big MacBook. So, uh, three apps that I would recommend to host a radio station. And he gave me the number three, but unfortunately I can only come up with two for Mac OS X uh, based on my experience. I did some limited Googling here, but I didn't really find a whole lot. Um, the first solution, which is probably going to be the most difficult, oh, before I talk about the solutions, let me talk about what's required to do this. Okay, you're going to need a streaming server and a streaming client, okay, um, of which money may be involved depending on what you have available some people can do this from their home some people can do this offline so depending on your needs you're going to need these things um, the streaming server needs to be running all the time so this box needs to be running 24 7 so if you have a home server or something like a linux box sitting around or a laptop you can run it off of that but the downside is that you're going to be draining from your own personal bandwidth so when people listen to your station they're going to be pulling bandwidth from you now the other option is is to use a service to do the streaming, um, to do the streaming server part. Uh, and there's solutions out there. I've used one called Via Streaming, V I A S T R E A M I N G dot com. I've used them personally, and they had great service, but it costs you. It's like sixteen dollars a month for fifty slots at a certain bit rate. So you have to look at the prices. And there's also one that was recommended to me by Todd Cochran of Geek News Central. He uses Primecast, PRM Cast, and you can get that for as low as six dollars a month, depending on what you're going to get. And they have a cool service called Auto DJ. I think it's called Auto DJ, where you just upload the files and it takes care of everything uh, in terms of streaming. So you don't have to worry about the client part. It takes care of the client and the server. Um, so when you're streaming, you're going to have to consider that you're going to have a server and a client, both of which are going to require bandwidth from either you or a provider. Um, so with that recommend, with that out of the way, the first solution I, I recommend is called IceCast, and there is an IceCast solution for Mac, um, which is called NiceCast, and there's also some uh, some binaries as well um, that you can compile yourself, and uh, I used I've used that before in terms of the Shoutcast client uh, and the Shoutcast server. You can use that as well, but this requires you to set up this stuff yourself. You have to configure it. You have to do the, the configuration files. You have to run the processes. You have to monitor it. It's not something that you can just poof have up and running. That's this IceCast. Now the um, the Shopcast, I mean. But NiceCast is now sold by Rogue Amoeba, and you can go to rogueamoeba.com/nicecast. This is a very nice solution and I, 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 I'm on the I'm very close to doing this myself because right now I have my podcast Wanda.org radio streaming all the time and I'm doing this from my web servers uh, I have a dedicated well I have a virtual private server which allows me to run the server component on that so I don't have to use my bandwidth here and I can also run a client there too so I, I do everything up up on the internet so I don't have to worry about my local bandwidth with it um, but when you run a server you have to configure the server, but this nice cast thing can provide both for you. And uh, it's very, very cool in that you can, it, it's made by Rogue Amoeba, the same people make Audio Hijack Pro. So these guys are very good at audio. You can capture various sources like Skype and any application. If you want to share the audio from a YouTube video, it's one click away. This thing goes for $40. And like I said, I'm very close to using this to stream live content meaning that when I'm when I'm recording Boyan.org radio or even now when I'm recording now I could stream this on a streaming server so on my radio station um, I can do it easily now I can do it now but it, re it would require me capturing audio set up this it's a lot of work involved and it's a lot of learning involved this makes it dead simple it makes it dead easy and it's very flexible for 40 bucks so that I am in the market for this I am going to be picking this up probably in the next couple months, I don't know when. Um, but that's gonna be my recommendation. I mean, NiceCast from Rogue Amoeba, that is the radio station app 
for Max when it comes to making your own radio station. So Big MacBook, I hope I answered your question. These are the things that are involved when doing this radio station stuff. You need to be familiar with the Shoutcast or Nicecast technology or Icecast technology and as well as the client server stuff and the bandwidth requirements and it may cost it, it's, it's, it's hard to do this without any cost. You're either going to pay money or you're going to pay bandwidth. So that's something to consider. So thanks for the question Big MacBook. Sorry I couldn't come up with three. It's really just one big solution that has multiple ways of doing it.